Hi everybody, Lisa A. Romano here, the Breakthrough Life Coach, and today I want to do something a little bit different. I'm actually um, walking my puppy Alice, my Weimaraner, and um, I'm on a dock near my house, which is absolutely beautiful, as you guys can see. Um, and uh, what I wanted to talk about today was to basically just, you know, help as many of you out there understand that the, the true journey of a soul, I believe, is to get to a point where you understand that you were always enough and that anything less than that was a lie and that it is not natural to come into this this life experience um, and go through this life experience not feeling like you are enough. It's just not natural. And if you are experiencing that or have experienced that in your life, that's because that was done to you. It is not it is not natural, nor was it the way it was intended to be for you to feel unloved and like you are not enough. And when you get to a point in your recovery process or on your path and you begin to understand that that was in fact a lie, it is so much easier to then love yourself because you realize that anything outside of not believing that you're enough was an absolute illusion. And as you move forward in your life, you will begin to feel like you're enough. And then once you start to feel like you're enough, you start to experience abundance. And abundance is not just money. Abundance is, this is abundance. This, this, this view, that's abundance. Air is abundance. Love of self is abundance. Um, ease is abundance. So that's what it all begins. You begin to understand that abundance is not just money. It's about your experiences and how you feel in your experiences. And I just want to keep encouraging you to understand that if you don't feel like you're enough, it's because someone taught you that you weren't enough and you were treated that way. But the truth is that you are enough and you are always enough and you were born enough. And your goal is to come into alignment with that true divinity so that you can become the light worker you were meant to be and not only have a more amazing life, an abundant life, but to be able to spread that love and that light to other people in your community and your children. Remember, human beings have what, what in their brains where we have this thing called, well, this dynamic, or I don't even know how to explain it, dynamic or whatever. We have mirror neurons. And so when we watch other people doing things, the same, the same uh, neural fibers that would, would light up, it, if we were doing, let's say, I'm, I'm, here comes a guy riding a bike. So if I watch him, the same neural fibers that would light up in me, if I was actually light, riding the bike, would ignite in my own brain. So those are mirror neurons. So that means that if you watch people who are codependent or or dysfunctional your whole life we're just going to start walking because alice is going to get excited if you if you watch negative people your whole life and then, then you will have these mirror neurons get activated in your brain and you won't be able to tell the difference if you're actually in that dysfunctional relationship or if you're in that dysfunctional relationship but what's really cool about that also is the flip side of it you know um you, you know if you invert that dynamic what you'll discover is that that means that if I watch people who are healthy, then I'm being programmed for health. I'm learning what it means to, that. what I'm trying to say is that if you watch people who are actually healthy, your brain doesn't know if you're actually experiencing that healthy relationship or the other person is. Your brain can't tell the difference between an imagined thought and a real thought that's happening in real time, which is so important. That's why I'm so protective over the information that I download into my brain. And so visualization works, dear one. That's why I, I harp on these vision boards. Um, when I look out, and I'm going to show you, when I look out, you know, into this scene, right? This is where I live. Are you kidding me? This is where I live. Like, I'm not joking. How beautiful is that? Yeah, you know, it's just incredible. Um, but dear ones, I had visions of this type of a life long before it ever manifested. So you all have a creative mind. You know, decalcify that pineal gland. Start creating those vision boards. See what you want. Start paying attention to what you want versus what you don't want. Go for it, dear ones. I'm just encouraging you to like go for it because I'm no different than you, except that I absolutely got pissed off that there was a lot of dysfunctional crap in my head and I got angry about it and I got pissed off that I wasn't in control of it and I said, the hell with this crap. You know, I'm taking control of what goes into my head now. So, it's really awesome that we have mirror neurons because that means if you watch healthy people long enough, your brain will become programmed for that. And your brain won't be able to tell the difference from whether or not you're experiencing that healthy relationship 
or someone else is. So I encourage you, I encourage you to watch healthy information like this, and there are plenty of other people on, on YouTube that, that offer great information. Um, listen, listen to these types of videos often, do meditations like mine and like others often, create those vision boards and take control over your life. Do you want to take control of your subconscious and conscious mind whenever you can and as often as you can. I love you, namaste, and I'm bowing to the love and the light in you for now. And I just want to give you one more view Just learn to be, dear one, and go for it. Just go for it. Bye.